Well, good morning everybody and uh, welcome back to the Metagraph office. Um, today I need to do uh, another brief uh, overview of um, the workshop uh, precision uh, knife sharpening system. Um, in part two, which uh, I see quite a lot of you have watched, which I'm very grateful for, um, I've made a big mistake. Um, I suggested that um, w one of the problems that I'd found with it was to do with the change in the angle of attack, as it were, i.e. the stone uh, against the uh, blade itself. Uh, the angles alter according to the size of the knife, uh, etc. And that, unfortunately, is a complete fib. It's just not true. Um, and I'm going to produce this little video just to briefly explain A, my mistake, and B, why um, my assertion just can't be true. So I hope you'll find this interesting and to... Now, when I was testing out the machine and uh, reviewing it, I made an assumption um, about changes in the angle of attack, as it were, on the blade that was held in the support arm. And I assumed that as this raised and lowered, that the angle of attack on the knife blade would alter if the knife in this holder was bigger, i.e. further away from the edge, or conversely if it was closer, this would alter the angle at which the stone would actually meet the edge of the or the apex of the knife and unfortunately I totally misjudged which angle I was looking at. What I should have realized is that very crudely, I don't know, hope this pencil shows up, we've got a machine which has a holder which is holding a knife and let's make this little block here the knife and I assumed that this angle here with the holder holding the stone was dependent on the movement up or down um, hence lengthening this angle and of course uh, sorry, this edge of the triangle, which is absolute nonsense because the machine and workshop, obviously their technicians um, are definitely brighter than me, um, they set it so that the angle was forming in a triangle which is 90 degrees Ninety degrees to this, uh, so you've got a ninety degree angle here, and so this movement in and out doesn't alter this angle. It's trigonometry. Um, I really um, confess that uh, I probably. Uh, <laughs> like many schoolboys, phased out thinking, when would I ever use this? And, uh, well, there you go. Um, I made a big mistake. So just to reiterate, my concerns regarding the workshop machine are still 90% correct, i.e. Uh, my anxiety about the flexing in this part here, however gentle you try and uh, apply here, um, it, it still stands. Um, the question as to 
suitability of knife size uh, for my purpose still stands because as you saw in the previous video I was very very uh, keen to try and uh, have some sort of assistance towards getting small carving knives uh, sharpen and as we've already said um, it clearly marks on the box um, it's not really aimed at that size of knife so the concerns regarding the suitability for the workshop for me um, it, it still stands it's not really going to achieve what I was hoping for but what fundamentally would or may put people off by suggesting that this guide here could fundamentally be inaccurate because of the distance uh, change in this I'm afraid is nonsense and I really do uh, offer workshop uh, an apology and um, I would be more than happy if somebody said is it uh, worth uh, 50 uh, pounds sterling um, then I would have to say yes it is provided you're not looking to uh, uh, sharpen um, anything other than the knives that it's uh, recommended for and um, does it change my overall opinion um, a little bit yes it does because um, it certainly offers very good value in uh, quite a crowded market for this type of angled uh, sharpening machine and uh, as I've already said I would hate to have put somebody off uh, with a misconception uh, of basic mathematics so I hope that puts uh, right or wrong and uh, I look forward to seeing you all again um, when I'm back in the workshop which um, is all looking uh, uh, very good and I hope to be back in later this week uh, I've got a carving underway at the moment which uh, you may be interested to see so I look forward to seeing you all thank you very much for the time and uh, once again apologies to workshop <laughs>